Hi, this is Mackenzie Haynes here again, the Director of Career Services and Academic Success at Midway University. And today on our Web Wisdom, we're going to be talking about how to use your break to build your resume. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have taken a break in your professional career, whether that was a gap year after graduation or staying home to raise some babies or um, dealing with a layoff situation. There you are in a break. We want to use this time as best possible to build your resume. Okay? And rest. You probably need some rest right now. So, resume and rest. Once you've gotten a little rest, it's time. Let's get started working on your resume. Here's a couple tips that you can use to build your resume during your time in a break. Number one, write your resume. You need to write a base resume that you can then go back and customize for every opportunity that comes your way. So I have some other videos about how to build a base resume, so I recommend checking that out. Um, but in essence, you put every single thing on your resume that you can think of, and then when an opportunity comes up, you make a copy of your base resume and then customize that copy down to fit the job position that you're applying for. Okay. Number two, build your professional social media presence. Um, probably not on Instagram, probably on LinkedIn. So if you don't already have a LinkedIn profile, make your LinkedIn profile and then start putting all the information on there. The Career Contessa says that if your resume is a snapshot, your LinkedIn is the rest of the story. So make sure your whole story is on your LinkedIn, okay? Number three, learn a new skill. Most public libraries offer free classes and courses that you can take to learn a new skill, whether it's um, web design or learning the Office Suite or learning Mac Suite or learning the Google G Suite. Um, there's so many different things that you can learn out there and so find something where you can build a skill that would be relatable to the field that you're going into. Um, next, take a class. Take a Spanish class, take a business class, take a class on learning the art of closing the deal and sales. Find something that is relevant and beneficial and go take it. You've got a little bit more time right now, it's a good time to use it. Next, I want you to go out and I want you to network. Yes, go see people, get out of your house, put on pants, okay? Go do something, take someone to coffee, meet somebody for lunch, drinks, if that's what is appropriate for your lifestyle and their lifestyle and the career path that you're going into. Um, go out there, make sure that you have some questions, um, make it easy for them to um, answer your questions, don't take up too much of somebody's time, um, but really make sure that you're show making a good impact, okay? Number six, I want you to research, okay? I want you to research trends, um, I want you to read articles, and then I want you to post about them on LinkedIn, okay? So this is how your post is gonna go. I just got done reading blank by so-and-so. I found this point very interesting, blah, blah, blah. I really wish they would have delved more into blah, blah, blah. I'd really like to see some more information about blah, blah, blah. What do you think? And then you can get some more responses on there and really build something. Um, I also want you to be researching companies that you admire or that you'd be interested in working towards or working for. And then I want you to engage with them on social media. Um, not every day. Don't make it creepy. Don't get specific. Um, but engage in them. I really like so-and-so. Hey, Google, this was really cool that you did this. Wow, I really love how P&G is doing da-da-da-da-da. And make sure that that's something that you're putting out there. Tag them in whatever your post is and make sure it's positive. Don't tag somebody in something negative um, because any company, once they start seeing you do things like this, they're going to check out your profile. If they see you bashing somebody else, it's not going to go good. Okay? They don't want to be the next person that gets bashed or the next company that gets put in a bad light. Okay? So, hopefully this was helpful. If you need more tips and tricks, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Search Hire Midway. And if you want some more specific information or you'd like to set up a meeting to talk, you can send us an email at careerservices at midway.edu or you can call or text at 859-846-5385. Good luck out there and hope to hear from you soon. Bye.